Before the Happy Meal sold out in Pullman, I was able to get my hands on one, and I have the toy to show for it. I'm thinking I shouldn't get rid of this. Students who attended the event also learned that there's a lot that goes into starting a business, like cost, for example. Molly said that the price of brisket has increased by over 100%. Participants at the event were able to put pictures of their loved ones on the ofrenda, or the altar, which I'm about to do right now. Have you ever wanted to try modeling? WSU's Apparel, Merchandising, Design, and Textiles program is having a model call for their annual fashion show. You probably get, have been asked this a lot recently, but do you guys have the uh, doll Happy Meal? Uh, no, so we just that. The cactus plant flea market box, better known as the adult Happy Meal, is sold out at the McDonald's on Stadium Way. I'm going to go to class. After class, we're going to go to McDonald's. we get the adult Happy Meal. It's going to be dope. And then they just said they didn't have it. And it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. According to Kylie Harris, the manager for the Stadium Way location, the adult Happy Meal sold out in a day and a half. Like we had a group of like five people and they bought 12 in three hours and they just sat out here eating just all of them for like three hours. Yeah. And then they came through and they wanted to order another one. And I was like, I'm out. I can't. The Happy Meal consists of either a Big Mac or 10 piece chicken nuggets, fries and drink, plus one of four collectible toys with nostalgic McDonald's characters. My friends are posting like pictures of the box and like the toys. And I was just like, that looks so sick. I want to get one. And I finally get to go to McDonald's and I've got one. Before the Happy Meal sold out in Pullman, I was able to get my hands on one. And I have the toy to show for it. I'm thinking I shouldn't get rid of this. Next time there is an exclusive deal at McDonald's, get there early or you might miss your chance. In Pullman, I am Noelle Anderson. Dr. Matthew Cataldi is an assistant professor at Radford University in Virginia, as well as an experienced piano soloist, composer, and conductor. I try to bring like my exposure to the world of music to students and to audiences, that it's not just a classical piano concert, it's not just a jazz concert. It's kind of that uh, integration of the two. WSU's School of Music is one of many stops on Dr. Cataldi's tour. But yeah, I mean, I gave two concerts last week. I have another one the week after. It's very busy. Dr. Cataldi gave a performance of his 24 preludes in popular style after the famous composer Chopin. It's a very interesting project that I've kind of been working on for the past couple of years. Um, so I wanted to create a body of work that would teach um, and expose young piano students to some of this uh, different styles and genres of music. Right now I'm standing in Kimbrough Concert Hall and right through these doors is where Dr. Cataldi played and where many others will perform this year. The WSU School of Music has many concerts planned throughout the year. You can find the schedule at events.wsu.edu slash school of music. In Pullman, I am Noelle Anderson.